Hello and welcome to this episode of the Apigee Accelerator series. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to create and send custom log messages from an Apigee API proxy to Google Cloud Login. In this example, our sample proxy will be sending regular API traffic to the backend. One important aspect is that I'll be using Apigee's Google Authentication feature that allows a given API proxy to easily authenticate to any Google Cloud service using the credentials of a service account. Let's get started. In order to run the sample, you need the following prerequisites. An active AppGX instance configured for receiving external traffic, the following tools in your terminal, and also permissions for creating service accounts, setting its IAM permissions, and creating and deploying API proxies. For this video, we'll be using the Cloud Shell tutorial so we can quickly get started and all the tools are already pre-configured. Okay, now that we are in the Google Cloud Shell environment, we can follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions on the right-hand side. First, let's make sure we're logged in with the correct account. Alright, so now that's CG into the Cloud Login directory. The next step is customizing the env.sh file with the required information. We can click here and add our information such as our RPG project, the host alias, the environment that we need for executing the sample. Remember to save your file. Let's source it and then we can get started. Next step is just executing the deploy script. This deploy script will deploy the API proxy, the service account, set its permissions, and then we can see how it works. It can take a few moments. All right, now that the script is finally over, let's take the next steps. First, let's generate a few sample API calls. And next, let's try to read the log messages that these calls generated from Google Cloud Login using the gcloud CLI tool. Let's read it again. There you go. Now, let's see in more details what's configured in Apigee. Let's select the API proxy we just created. The first thing to notice is that this API proxy is deployed to have the permissions of a service account that the script also created. So we can see it here. Now click the Develop tab and let's see what this proxy is all about. If you see over here, it has just a single message logging policy executing the post client flow. This is a special flow that is executed after the response is sent to the client. It's very useful to not add any latency in issuing this log message. Let's see the policy itself. In the policy, see that we set the log name we want to use, some system variables here, organization, environment, some information about the request itself, the response code, content, and even a literal value. To finalize, let's just double check the service account that we, the script created. Let me just refresh. So here it is with the logs writer permission. And last but not least, let's check our log messages in the UI of Cloud Login, of course. So here we can see in more details, the log messages we sent. To finalize, black back to Cloud, cloud Shell. Please hate this tutorial. And if you want to clean up, just execute the cleanup script. We hope you found this sample useful. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. You can subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the series. If you have any questions, please post them in the Apigee community. Thank you so much for watching.